Welcome to another edition of Nation Building. I'm your host, Winston Pinnock. On this program, we deal with leadership, and we deal specifically with political, social, and moral issues in leadership. And after this break, we'll be talking to a former government minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, Mr. David Thompson, who is an attorney at law, and he had the responsibility for Ministry of Youth, Sports, and Culture, I believe. And so we're going to have an interesting discussion, not just to talk about the past, but also where the FNM stands today. And is the FNM serious about reclaiming the government? Uh, one might say they're not serious in its current form, but Mr. Thompson would educate us on that. We'll be right back after this break. said you can't get great quality products at an affordable price. If you want the best quality food products at the most affordable prices, you must pick up the Jamaica Bahama brand of fine quality products at your favorite food store. Products like Jamaica Bahama Coconut Water, the most healthy and refreshing drink on the market. Jamaica Bahama Fruit Punch, the only fruit punch in the Bahamas made from real fruit. Jamaica Bahama Coconut Milk, Green Pigeon Peas with Coconut Milk, Condensed Milk, Kidney Beans with Coconut Milk, Corned Beef, Green Pigeon Peas, Mackerel, and Corn. Jamaica Bahama's fine line of products is available at all your favorite food stores and convenience stores nationwide. Telephone 351-8282 in Freeport and 341-4091 in Nassau. I don't wanna win. Time is money, and when you need more of both, fly Western Air. 12 flights daily between Nassau and Freeport. At Western Air, your 11th round trip is always free. Flights to Marsh Harbor coming soon. Hello. Did you get it? Yes, baby. I got it. Don't come home without it. These arms of mine, they are yearning, yearning for wanting you. Where is it? Strongback is distributed by the Jamaica Bahamas Import and is available at your favorite food or convenience store nationwide. For more information, call 341-4091 in Nassau and 351-8282 in Freeport. You're thinking about starting a business or looking to expand and grow an existing business, the Invest Grand Bahama Small Business Bureau can help. We are your complete business resource center, offering a one-stop shop service to aspiring entrepreneurs and existing business owners. Did you know that most startup businesses fail within the first three to five years as a result of poor planning, insufficient funding, and lack of basic business management skills and training? The Invest Grand Bahama Small Business Bureau offers a wealth of resources, information, and support to help entrepreneurs avoid costly mistakes, make wise choices, and plan effectively for a successful business venture. Why risk becoming a statistic? Helping entrepreneurs realize their goals of successful business ownership while working with existing businesses to remain competitive and profitable is what we do. Visit or call us today for more information on how the Invest Grand Bahama Small Business Bureau can help you. Invest Grand Bahama Small Business Bureau. Empowering licensees. At Henry F. Store Electric Company, we supply all your electric needs for any size project, from residential housing to luxury hotels. We can help you achieve just the right look, from doorbells to chandeliers, table lamps to ceiling fans, wire, conduit, panels, dimmers, switches, plugs, and even tools. And don't forget light bulbs. We have those hard-to-find, energy-saving fluorescent bulbs and more. Henry F. Store Electric, number 135 Mackin Street. Over 50 years of reliability, service, and low, low prices. We also ship to the Family Islands. 
Welcome back to Nation Building. I'm Winston Pinnock and we're joined today by Mr. David Thompson. He is the former Minister of Local Government, Sports and Culture. Mr. Thompson, welcome to our program. So good to be here. Thank yes. you so much for having me. Yes, and it's nice to have you. You, you bring a lot of uh, experience to uh, share with our viewing public today as you served as a Minister of Government in our country. And a few Bahamians get that privilege. Sometimes we, we're so familiar with our leaders, and so sometimes we forget that uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a privilege to have had the opportunity to shape, uh, be a part of shaping our country. And so we're, we're glad to have you here. So we're going to dive right in. And um, first statement I'd like to make is that uh, a lot of young Bahamians don't know you as far as your political service because you've been off the political scene as, as far as front line for a little bit. And so I wanted to just take you back, if you can take us back and share how you got into politics and, of course, um, got into elective office. Well, thank you very much. I'll be happy to do that. Uh, let me indicate that from very early in my life, I love to serve people. I, I love to be of service and I love to work in the community. And that led me to the Boys Brigade and those kinds of youthful organizations. And it also propelled me in my adult life into service. So I would have been a person who would have sought out civic work, whether it was in the Kiwanis Club or whether it was the YMCA where I served as chairman of the board for some 10 plus years, or whether it was the Church of Ascension where I served in terms of the Synod and uh, as a member of the church uh, who underwent construction during my time. I would have been a person who, my children still remind me of how I took my two boys out on the street for us with our garbage bags to pick up litter because we didn't want the streets to be dirty and we went to the beach and pick up litter off the beach because we wanted the beach to be clean. So I had a very good grounding in what I call community service. And I love being of service and of help to people. That led to my being involved with politics to the extent that people would come to me and say, well, we love what you're doing. We see what you're doing. We would like for you to do more. Mm. And we therefore would have joined the FNM as a party after having matriculated out of the PLP, where we first started in the PLP with uh, a group that we called the Young Democrats. Uh, and at that time, there were no young liberals. And, and what year was that, if you mind me? Asking. This was around the time of the 1970s, uh, and the people in the in the area of where Gamber is now and Gamber House now and the PLP headquarters is. In Nassau. In Nassau, Rock Crusher Road. Absolutely. <laughs> Down there, um, I was affiliated with Sir Clement Maynard as a PLP. And we had underwent um, the construction of that building, which was Gamber House, which was intended to be Mr. Maynard's headquarters for the constituency. And, um, Interesting. Yeah, we would have developed there um, a community center, which was a full service site? center. On that very site? On that very site, uh, where we had daily activities, and on the weekends, we had sporting activities. And my two boys would have gone to a daycare center that was established on a part of the property that comprised that site. So, Mr. Thompson, you came out of the belly of the PLP. I, I, I was at that time in Rock Crusher Road. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, was, I was minded as best I could to, to rally the youth in that area and to have them come out to movies on Friday night and come out to basketball games on Saturday. We built a basketball court. And we used to have a very dynamic youth group there. And uh, we, I made the political decision to, to challenge who was then the chairman, Mr. Aaron Kikinol Sr., for the position of chairmanship of that constituency. And 
that created a battle that resulted in him having to fight very dearly for his political life as, as the chairman of that constituency. Mm -hmm. And at the time, he had to physically bus in people to beat me. And of course, they did not take the challenge by the young people very well at the time. And we, of course, had Gambia House as our headquarters. We had all of our uh, meetings there. We had all of our uh, programs there. And we noticed that after Aaron Kiki Noel Sr. and his executives won, and we, the young people, lost, they determined that um, we should find someplace else to meet. And so they would have put us into meeting at different Ministry of Education schools. I must stop and you there for a quick second. Are you saying that the then chairman and his team, having won, basically put you guys out? Absolutely. Wow. But, but not directly like that. They said, you have to find someplace else to go. We'll help you find a place to meet. And then we would meet at one um, school. And then the next month, they would say, oh, well, that's not available. You'll have to meet at the other school. And as we were moved around, not to our choosing, our numbers fell dramatically from four, 500 to 100 to 25. So you thought that was a deliberate strategy? And, and it was definitely, we, we felt, a deliberate strategy. So. Several of us, uh, the Sims brothers, myself, we determined, well, it seems as if the PLP doesn't want us anymore. And so we determined, well, let's sit out and see what happened. And of course, the Free National Movement came into being, and the Free National Movement had a, a program we thought was attractive to, to young people. And so that is how I came to join the Free National Movement. Was there a philosophical difference with the PLP and the FNM, uh, as far as young people, uh, what, for, uh, at least what was your viewpoint from that at that time? Did you see a, a philosophical difference or that wasn't the main uh, thing at, at the time in terms of what attracted you guys? Well, well no, it, 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 it really had nothing to do with the philosophy because at the time, the proponents of the free national movement were claiming that the progressive liberal party were not adhering to the progressive liberal party's philosophy. And so you had the dissonant eight form the free national movement with later on the UBP, and, and the philosophy emerged out of the experience of opposition to the PLP. And so the FNM has carved its own philosophy based on its history its experience and its interaction with the people of the Bahamas. Is that the reason why the FNM over the years has struggled tremendously when it comes to having cohesiveness? And I say that because not just based on the current environment, but it appears uh, that the party has, unlike the PLP, that seems to coalesce around the organization, the loyalty and commitment to the organization, to the average, average PLP supporter, seems to be embedded. The Free National Movement seems to be a band of rebels. Well, not quite. The experience was quite remarkable, and it resulted in the deepening of our democracy, because the Free National Movement as a party became that party for everybody else to come to. And so you had a diverse view of views of different people who would come to that organization. And through that diversity, we gained strength. But didn't, so, that, didn't that, sorry, didn't that same diversity though result in the, the fractioning as far as leadership back in the 70s and into the early 80s where you had uh, Cecil Wallace Whitfield at one point and Kendall Isaacs and these changes of leadership. What, do you think that contributed to it? Just as a piece of a note for, of history. Oh, yeah, what I, want to, what I want to say is that I am agreeing with you that in the free national movement in our experience, you have 
lots of different people with different views, ideas, and opinion who found a home in the free national movement so that the FNM, by its very makeup, mm -hmm. have those who challenge the status quo, those who challenge each other, those who where ideas contend in the FNM. And so it, it is not a party where you fall in line and this is what it is and... and, and you and, and you are aware that that has its benefits, not, notwithstanding. And of course, that, that kind of political the, the, structure would have its benefits, especially in terms of loyalty and commitment and being able to count on people's support and what have you. But in the free national movement, because of our diversity, which has become our strength, we are going to have different opinions. We're going to have different types of Characters with different personalities and agendas that emerge and agendas with with agendas that have to be crafted to fit the national agenda of the party, which is to provide better governance for the people of the Bahamas. And the people of the Bahamas are as diverse as the FNM. And they have all of those diverse views the same as those who make up the FNM. In other words, the FNM reflects the Bahamian people. And because of that, you will have challenges. And because of that, you will have the challenge even to leadership on a regular basis. And on that note, some also say that specifically because of that, you have a need in the FNM for strong leadership. But on that note, we'll take this break and when we come back, we'll pick up there. This is Nation Building and we'll be right back. Shipping hubs around the world are deepening their harbor in preparation for the Panama Canal expansion. We deepened our harbor more than a decade ago. Special economic zones are popping up all over the world, offering tax concessions to potential investors. We've been offering zero taxes for the past six decades. Some call it a rich history. We call it the Grand Vision, Grand Bahama Island, imagine the possibilities. Time is money, and when you need more of both, fly Western Air, 12 flights daily between Nassau and Freeport. At Western Air, your 11th round trip is always free. Flights to Marsh Harbor coming soon. Are you a business person staying for a night, a week, or a month? Holding a meeting for your company or organization? A couple starting your married life with your wedding? Looking for vacation happiness on Grand Bahama Island? We know our happiness will make you happy. You'll see it in the smiles and the faces of our people. Our common goal at Pelican Bay Hotel is to anticipate what you need to be happy and to see that you get it. Visit our website to find everything you need to find happiness at Pelican Bay at Lucaya. Hello, I'm Wendell Jones, and every time I sit down and I watch JCN television, I drink the Jamaica Bahama food juice. It's so pleasing to the palate. I've been cooking Bahamian dishes for generations. I now use Jamaica Bahamas product. The rice is very fluffy, very tasty, and good eating. Jamaica Bahama product is simply the best. As an insurance agent, my life is go, go, go. But whenever I need a refreshing break, it's Jamaica Bahamas Island Mixed Fruit Drink. Mmm, good. Hi, I'm Debbie Barton from GEMS 105.9 FM. The effect that Island Junkanoo Juice Medley has on me is <laughs> exhilarating. Welcome back to Nation Building. 
We are having a very lively and, I wouldn't say provocative, very lively and education informative discussion with former Minister of Government under the Ingram administration, Mr. David Thompson, who is an attorney at law. Uh, Mr. Thompson, I might note, also serves today as the senior party officer for the Free National Movement in Grand Bahama. And so we're going to get into some discussion with him about what's going on in the internal wranglings of the Free National Movement. Mr. Thompson, we want to pick up where you left off. Um, and so if you can share, continue to share with us, uh, I think we had to break and so you were. Yeah, what I was indicating was that the, the Free National Movement coming out of the PLP um, had its own birthing as a result of its experience with all of these diverse persons, the red, yellow, black, or white, um, all were equal in the sight of the FNM and all came to the FNM. Whether you were UBP, you were indifferent, or you were uh, disillusioned with the PLP, uh, you were with successful Wallace Whitfield, or with Kendall Isaacs, or any of those personalities of the day, we, we all came together in the free national movement. And that is why one of our prime slogans was, all together. FNM, all together. Because we were trying always to bring together all of the peoples of our Bahamas as representative in that party. And the people of the Bahamas would say today, the FNM is far from being all together and unprepared to govern the Bahamas with an election just over a year from now. How do you respond to that? We respond to that by saying, while that may be an opinion of some, those of us who are in the party are working very hard to make sure that the political machinery is there and well-oiled for the next conflict. We are working very hard to put in place the structures and the people to ensure that we are representative of the wider community of the Bahamas. We are going through a selection process for candidates which will ensure that those who are chosen men and women, young and old, they will best represent the people of the respective constituencies throughout of the Bahamas. And so what we are doing is we are putting together what needs to be done. Every time you go into a general election, the, the machinery, the manpower, the generals, those who fight and work in the trenches, those who knock on doors. And we are also crafting our platform and our vision for a new and better Bahamas, which we will unfold after consultation with the people of the Bahamas to show where we hope to take the Bahamas into the future. But Mr. Thompson, are, is the party listening though to the Bahamas, to the people of the Bahamas, specifically as it relates to leadership? Uh, it, it, it should be clear and, and one, one don't have to think deep to, to realize that the public opinion uh, is unsettled with the state of the FNM. And as a senior party officer, how you, you give the internal perspective, which, which we would like to, for people to know, but have you paid attention or the organization leadership in the organization paid attention to the views, one of which is that the FNM doesn't appear to, because it, uh, and I, I guess it's a primary, it's a stroke primarily at the leader himself, uh, who know, I know to be a good person, but this is not a, an issue of character. It's an issue of, is your leader, is, is he connecting with the Bahamian people on the question of connecting where people feel that he is capable of, first of all, leading the organization effectively and then selling a message to the country that would cause them to move from supporting the PLP to supporting the FNM? Well, let's go back to the question of leadership. There are many different types of leaders. And leadership comes in many forms. In the Bahamas, as in many of our Caribbean countries, 
We've been used to people like David Thompson. Charismatic. Little David. Charismatic. Who will be out there having been trained as a lawyer, having experience in the courts, being able to try and convince jurors that this man is innocent. Let him go. We will have those kinds of articulate persons who would be out there who are very attractive to the masses because of how they present themselves, how they speak. And that is an attraction for a leader. And those who complain about too many lawyers being in politics, the reason why that is is because lawyers make the best type of politician, no, the best type of politician to appeal to those masses of people who find that kind of thing attractive. But, but isn't, the, isn't now, it the masses that you're appealing to at the absolutely. end of the day? Absolutely. Now, let me say that there are also those other types of leaders who we have not experienced in our history in the Bahamas because all of our prime ministers have been lawyers. And that's not a bad thing. But we some are now would, would faced, we are now, well, those who say it is, will have to look at Dr. Minnis very carefully and evaluate how good he is because we believe that he will be successful. He is a doctor. He thinks like a doctor. His training is with doctor and healing and, and, and being able to help people and being able to, to make sure that if you ill, you get better. As opposed to a lawyer, if you give me the case, whether my client is innocent or guilty, if I'm representing you and I'm supposed to have you there as innocent, you could be innocent. And I'm going to do my darndest to fight for you. And then if I have to change, I'll flip. Because I'm a lawyer and I'm going to do what is best for my client. Doctors are not like that. They are the more practical. They, 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 they think in a different way. And so we're going to have to accustom ourselves, I believe, to the type of leadership outside of that, oh, he's a lawyer stereotype. So are you, are, you, are you saying that the Bahamian people, or the free national movement rather, is forcing on the Bahamian people to, oh, no. change, to change their way of thinking? Oh, no. I'm not saying that's good or bad. I'm just saying, are you, oh, oh, no. or is the free national movement pre be prepared to recognize what the Bahamian people oh, desire no, I, and then sell what, because you can't sell the people what they're oh, not oh, buying. And, and, and I'm not, not saying that. None not, of not, not that, sir. And you're a very good salesman at what you do. But none of that. I'm trying to develop a perspective that takes a while to be developed in terms of speaking on leadership. So in continuing to speak about leadership, I'm trying to point to you have different personalities who will bring their style of leadership to the public. And the and question is, how do you cause well, the public watch to... this. And, and the question then is, let's look at the leader and see what he is doing and how he is interacting with the populace, how he is interacting with the people. Not so much how he's interacting with his, his senators or members of parliament or his executive council of the party. How is he interacting with the people in Bain and Grantstown? How is he acting, reacting to, with the people in Elizabeth? How is he reacting to the people down in Inagua? How is he, and when you look at Dr. Minnis and what he is doing, he is reaching out and he is gathering support daily from all of the travel he does, all of the, the people he go and see and meet, and how he is rolling out his candidates in all of these constituencies with these constituency rallies, which are very well attended and, and the candidates are being very well received. And, and he is therefore making his mark in a different way that we think the public is growing to appreciate and certainly the young people who are who's it speaking to me. They say to me, Mr. Thompson, he ain't like you. But we like him, he for us, because he real. He is one of us. He is a person who we could identify with, because he like us young people. For your sake, I hope that you are right. And for, for the country's we, sake, so do I. We are, we are running to this break, and when we come back, we'll pick up there. This is Nation Building, and we'll be right back. Are you a business person staying for a night, a week, or a month? Holding a meeting for your company or organization? a couple starting your married life with your wedding, 
Looking for a vacation happiness on Grand Bahama Island? We know our happiness will make you happy. You'll see it in the smiles and the faces of our people. Our common goal at Pelican Bay Hotel is to anticipate what you need to be happy and to see that you get it. Visit our website to find everything you need to find happiness at Pelican Bay at Lukaya. Time is money, and when you need more of both, fly Western Air. 12 flights daily between Nassau and Freeport. At Western Air, your 11th round trip is always free. Flights to Marsh Harbor coming soon. you can't get great quality products at an affordable price. If you want the best quality food products at the most affordable prices, you must pick up the Jamaica Bahama brand of fine quality products at your favorite food store. Products like Jamaica Bahama Coconut Water, the most healthy and refreshing drink on the market. Jamaica Bahama Fruit Punch, the only fruit punch in the Bahamas made from real fruit. Jamaica Bahama Coconut Milk, Green Pigeon Peas with Coconut Milk, Condensed Milk, Kidney Beans with Coconut Milk, Corned Beef, Green Pigeon Peas, Mackerel, and Corn. Jamaica Bahama's fine line of products is available at all your favorite food stores and convenience stores nationwide. Telephone 351-8282 in Freeport and 341-4091 in Nassau. I don't wanna win. At Henry F. Store Electric Company, we supply all your electric needs for any size project, from residential housing to luxury hotels. We can help you achieve just the right look, from doorbells to chandeliers, table lamps to ceiling fans, wire, conduit, panels, dimmers, switches, plugs, and even tools. And don't forget light bulbs. We have those hard-to-find, energy-saving fluorescent bulbs and more. Henry F. Store Electric, number 135 Mackey Street. Over 50 years of reliability, service, and low, low prices. We also ship to the family islands. Welcome back to Nation Building. I'm Winston Pinnock. I'm here today with Mr. David Thompson, former minister under the Ingram administration. And Mr. Thompson, before we went to the break, we talked, uh, we were sharing about the challenges that as far as I see it that your party faces and uh, whether or not there is a, a, a path to winning an election with the current structure of leadership and more so style that exists. And you made a case about uh, why not necessarily lawyers and finding someone who may not have the natural skill set that we call charismatic and, and, and how that would work. I, I must say that um, I, I think I speak for a significant amount of people when I represent this thought that people see they don't see a path for the free national movement winning because of the style in leadership today. How does the party, with someone as Dr. Minnis, an honorable man, but a low-keyed person who is not the traditional charismatic David Thompson style personality, I mean, you could sell that as much as you want to and say what we the good that he is and the good that should be done. But how do you make that winnable? How do you sell that as an organization? Well, let me just say that I have a different perspective than you do on all of this. Okay. And it is this. Dr. Minnis himself is out there selling himself. Dr. Minnis is being genuine in reaching out to where he was born over the hill, in Maine and Grantstown, in all of the constituencies where we are rolling out candidates. He is reaching out to the ordinary man and woman, to the middle class who is disenfranchised, to the poverty belt, where you have some 40,000 people still in poverty today in this nation. He is talking about creating incentives and concessions and economic zones in over the hill areas. And he's talking about empowerment. And he's talking about how to change the lives of poor people. And how to make the life of poor people better. The life of the middle class better. The Bahamas better. 
because he is crafting a new and better Bahamas. He is doing this by how he is out there interacting with the public. Now, that is not an immediate process. That is a process that grows and expands as he gives it more but effort, is he more energy, is he and more vision. And the question is, is he connecting? And the people to answer that is the people who are attending the rollout of the candidates, the people who are interacting as he goes around. But, but those, to are all of these rallies. those are narrow the political. Those are narrow political operatives within the FNN. The people who are interconnecting. They don't speak for the Bahamas. The people Mr. out Thompson. there in the streets where he is walking and talking to them and sharing his vision. And it does take a while. And it can be speeded up. So when we talk about Dr. Minnis, what he is doing personally, he is bringing his own style of leadership over the hill to the people over the hill in a way that he as a doctor knows best to do. <coughs> and while we who, who keep clamoring for change and we who keep saying we have too many lawyers in politics and we who have been living through all of our lives the Pendlin era of politics, where you have Pendlin, Ingram, Thompson, Christie, Thompson, same cloth. All of us are cut from that style. Pendlin cloth. Right. And if you want more of that, then you wouldn't have change. But if you want something different, if you want something better, if you want a new vision for the Bahamas, a better vision for the Bahamas, we are poor people. But why can't, why can't the people of the Bahamas then get Doc new, understands that. a new vision with the, the style that they like? I mean, you, you said it as if you can't have charisma the style, with vision. The style that they like is going to unfold. The style that they like is going to come out. The style that they like is what they're going to tell Doc and you and what they're going to tell the world when they vote. And that is what we are saying. But let, let this man go out there and work his magic because you may think he is low profile. You may think he is not reaching out and touching people. But this is a man who has proven he can reach out and touch and change lives. And mostly, he is the only man out there who is giving hope, hope to the middle class who have been hurt so bad and who looking at where to find the money to pay the bank, and who looking at their house gone and nowhere to live, who looking at where to feed their children, who out there in poverty and can't find the next meal. He is out there giving hope to them and saying, I am different. Why I am the they, kind why of leader they who's saying looking that, out though? for you. Why are we not hearing that? Why are we not hearing the, 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 the feedback from the man on the street out there saying, yes, doctors, doc is connecting, and yes, we have hope. Why do you still hear this loud chatter of the FNM is not together, the leadership of the FNM is not impressive, or in any number of ways a criticism comes? It Why? Very much, After doing all of that. It very much depends on who you're listening to. Let's not look at politics. Let's look at religion. Do you know what the Roman Catholic Church in Lyfriki is saying? Do you know what the Jumper Church in Ragged Island, Duncan Town, where I was born, is saying? Can you really articulate for me what the Methodist Church is staying, saying out there on the corner there where, where the First Bahamas Boys Brigade is hosted? No. But I'll tell you one thing. They are all out there giving dynamic messages and reaching out to people and telling them of their vision. And yes, if you were to go there, you will meet it happening. You will see it happening, and you can have a show about it. But if the media chooses to have a different agenda, that's on the media. Are you, because, accu because are you accusing the, Roman the media? Because the Roman Catholic Church is doing uh, what the Roman Catholic uh, Church is uh, doing. Are you accusing? The Anglican Church is doing what the Anglican Church is doing. <laughs> and the Church of God, a <laughs> prophecy, is rolling on and on. Mr. Thompson, are you accusing Gathering the media? Gathering up a storm, are you, sailing out across. The are you accusing the media like of the not... FNM? Of and not representing be Dr. Minnis and the FNM? They will be gathering like a storm. I, and they'll be sailing on and on. And listen, we're going to bring the Bahamas to a new and better future for Bahamians. And that is what 
leadership is all about. That's what new leadership is all about. That's what a doctor could bring when we talk about a doctor healing the nation, my brother. Are you accusing the media of not effectively representing Dr. Minister's view to the public? No, I am saying that the, 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 media, the media chooses its own agenda. The agenda for the media is not dictated by anybody. They are free. But I think the media freedom. I think the media represents the feelings of the people in the country. Yes, and so does with, the church. with rare exceptions. And so does the Catholic Church in Life and Key and the Church of God in Duncan Town. You don't seem to understand what I'm saying. I'm saying that when you start giving focus to anything as a media and highlight it, you get that picture. But you could change the camera and change the picture by changing the location, changing where I, you look. I think so if I, you go look at Dr. Minnis in a positive light and go with him and let him take the cameras and take you where he's walking with people who he's meeting, when he goes and says the Beantown boys are back home, you go there, talk to the people there, ask them what they think. Don't ask David Thompson, don't ask Dr. Minnis. Go on the streets with him, ask the people. And that is the important thing. I, I just want to say for the record, I think the media in the Bahamas is doing an excellent job of fleshing out what exists and the current climate in the Bahamas, the political environment. And I don't think there's a bias against Dr. Minnis or the free national movement. I just want to make that clear. Um, that, that is your personal opinion. I think I think I think that is a very self-protective kind I think, of statement. I, I think understand. I think that's a fair opinion. I understand. I think that's a very fair I opinion. Understand. But I but I also understand that, that you represent parties. I, I understand that you are passionate about and some of the, them have their own television stations. I, I understand you are passionate about the FNM and Dr. Minnis. So we, we take no, that. No, 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 Chief. We, we Let me get that. this straight for the Bohemian people. <laughs> I am passionate about good governance for the people of the Bahamas. I am passionate about making sure we have a better Bahamas. I am passionate about whichever party can give the people of the Bahamas better governance. And you think at the FNM time, can do at that? At this time, the FNM, I believe, with Dr. can Minnis do that. At the helm. I believe with Dr. Minnis at the helm, we should rally around him. Our leadership should get around him. The people of the Bahamas should get around him so that we can make our Bahamas better with him. A parting word on this segment. I think that passion that you just expressed to the people of the Bahamas needs to be expressed to the internal rank of the free national movement. Clearly, we did not have enough time today, Mr. Thompson, oh, no, sir, we didn't have enough time. To share your vision of the future. But suffice it to say that we have had a lot of information here for our public to, to chew on, and we uh, certainly enjoyed you being here. Want to thank you for coming. Well, thank you so much for having me. It, it, it really has been good to, to see you. Want to thank our viewers for watching once again. And we'll do our best to continue to provide you with information from both political parties and from all sectors of society. This has been another edition of Nation Building. Thank you for watching. said you can't get great quality products at an affordable price. If you want the best quality food products at the most affordable prices, you must pick up the Jamaica Bahama brand of fine quality products at your favorite food store. Products like Jamaica Bahama Coconut Water, the most healthy and refreshing drink on the market. Jamaica Bahama Fruit Punch, the only fruit punch in the Bahamas made from real fruit. Jamaica Bahama Coconut Milk, Green Pigeon Peas with Coconut Milk, Condensed Milk, Kidney Beans with Coconut Milk, Corn Beef, Green Pigeon Peas, Mackerel, and Corn. Jamaica Bahama's fine line of products is available at all your favorite food stores and convenience stores nationwide. Telephone 351-8282 in Freeport and 341-4091 in Nassau. I don't wanna win. you're thinking about starting a business or looking to expand and grow an existing business, the Invest Grand Bahama Small Business Bureau can help. 
We are your complete business resource center, offering a one-stop shop service to aspiring entrepreneurs and existing business owners. Did you know that most startup businesses fail within the first three to five years as a result of poor planning, insufficient funding, and lack of basic business management skills and training? The Invest Grand Bahama Small Business Bureau offers a wealth of resources, information, and support to help entrepreneurs avoid costly mistakes, make wise choices, and plan effectively for a successful business venture. Why risk becoming a statistic? Helping entrepreneurs realize their goals of successful business ownership while working with existing businesses to remain competitive and profitable is what we do. Visit or call us today for more information on how the Invest Grand Bahama Small Business Bureau can help you. Invest Grand Bahama Small Business Bureau. Empowering licensees. Time is money and when you need more of both, fly Western Air. 12 flights daily between Nassau and Freeport. At Western Air, your 11th round trip is always free. Flights to Marsh Harbor coming soon. Are you a business person staying for a night, a week, or a month? Holding a meeting for your company or organization. A couple starting your married life with your wedding. Looking for vacation happiness on Grand Bahama Island? We know our happiness will make you happy. You'll see it in the smiles and the faces of our people. Our common goal at Pelican Bay Hotel is to anticipate what you need to be happy and to see that you get it. Visit our website to find everything you need to find happiness at Pelican Bay at Lucaya. At Henry F. Store Electric Company, we supply all your electric needs for any size project, from residential housing to luxury hotels. We can help you achieve just the right look, from doorbells to chandeliers, table lamps to ceiling fans, wire, conduit panels, dimmers, switches, plugs, and even tools. And don't forget light bulbs. We have those hard-to-find, energy-saving fluorescent bulbs and more. Henry F. Store Electric, number 135 Mackey Street. Over 50 years of reliability, service, and low, low prices. We also ship to the Family Islands. Did you support the referendum then? I supported it then. Do, do you and, support and, it now? And I, and I support it now. Are you prepared to vote for all four bills? I'm prepared to vote for all four bills. The principle this referendum seeks to correct in our Constitution is to give equality to both a Bahamian man and a Bahamian woman equally. That's the principle behind this referendum. All the other stuff, while some of it has importance. And you're not concerned about Bill 4, that uh, the church, uh, many church leaders and many in no, the society no, is no, 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 I'm not, to I'm, gay marriage? I am not concerned about it to the extent that I would vote against it. I wouldn't do that because there is a greater principle in this whole matter. And that pr principle is that we are seeking to give full equality to all our citizens. If you trust the men, you can trust the women too. You can't, you can't say, well, I can trust the men because they're going to do it a certain way. Uh, and I, 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 I can't trust the women because the women may run out on it. No, you cannot apply that kind of thinking when you're dealing with the fundamental things of your country, citizenship, equality. When your constitution tells you and your, and your marriage, your mom, in your, under your, the act, your marriage act, it tells you here in the Bahamas, marriage is between a man and a woman. Now, they're saying that they, that but could the be marriage varied. act. The marriage act. People would say don't trump the constitution, and so to the extent that you are uh, uh, imposing a change on the constitution, the marriage act is null and void in terms of its power to override well, the that, constitution. That's all you have in the absence of anything else beyond saying that um, um, male or female sex is either male or female. Okay. That part is there in the Constitution. 